everybody, welcome to Tech Recycle, where you combine the latest in neurotechnology with ancient wisdom to supercharge your brain. Today we're taking a look at a number of products that are available to the average consumer in the year 2020. And what I want us to do is start thinking like physicians, start thinking about biohacking ourselves, thinking about neurohacking ourselves. These are brain-related devices. And when I come from the standpoint of a physician, I'm usually thinking, what is the problem? What is the severity of the problem? And in this case, what is the price point that sort of limits what you're able to purchase for your own health? And we need to be thinking of ourselves as almost like video game characters. It's like um, you have certain strengths and weaknesses. Maybe you're really good on sleep, but you're not good on attention. Maybe you're good on creativity, but you're not good at anxiety. And these are different devices that can be interjected at different times of our lives in order to help with these different challenges. So the first thing that I want to start out with is that in order to have a healthy mind, you have to have a healthy body. We need to have a good balance of muscle, uh, adipose tissue, energy levels. These are all really important. And if you're having difficulty with exercise, getting motivated to exercise, one of these devices called the Halo Sport 2 can be really helpful in getting you energized. Basically, you hydrate these little nibs. It goes on like this. You turn it on and it actually stimulates the motor cortex in your brain in order to enhance not only uh, choreographed movement, but also help you get past uh, central fatigue, which could be holding you back in your workout. So Halo Sport 2 can be a really good option if you are having difficulty with exercise, if you're having difficulty with energy levels, and you need something to encourage you to break through these barriers when it comes to your exercise routine, because that's going to, in turn, help with your mind and your focus. If you have tried to sit down and try to meditate, but you're having very high anxiety levels, uh, maybe the brain tap is the, the device for you. This is from Dr. Port Patrick Porter. He has uh, put in a ton of work and research and development in this. This is audiovisual entrainment. This actually uses flashing lights and binaural beats to go in through the nerves that supply vision and hearing in order to induce alpha waves and theta waves within the brain in order to calm you. And it is a very calming experience, I know from experience. It also can um, enhance rewiring your brain for calm, anxiety, and peace. And this can be really good for um, if you're having a lot of difficulty with meditation because of anxiety, you might want to try brain tap first in order to induce those types of brain waves to lessen anxiety. And I should mention that if you're having mental health problems, definitely go to a mental health practitioner, a professional, in order to get that treated. Um, you can do this concurrently, but don't let it be the only mainstay treatment if you are having real significant problems. If you're having trouble sleeping, there are options. There's the new Dream 2 from a company in France. Um, and this is going for about $400, so a little bit more expensive. So $400, this is actually up at around uh, $700 brain tap. So, uh, you know, this is really more towards medical treatment. And then this again, uh, the Dream 2 going for about $400. And this is a wonderful EEG device that tracks your sleep. Um, night after night and it actually coaches you through having better sleep habits. It comes with a whole program and right now I'm uh, currently engaging in this this product and using it night after night and I have a review video coming up so highly recommended there. When it comes to having a good balance of exercise, um, feeling like you're balanced out on anxiety and sleep, uh, then you might feel like you really want to explore the depths of meditation and meditation can enhance all these different properties and more really can be great spiritual enhancement you've got the muse headband the original 2016 muse headband here um, probably the best bang for your buck when it comes to all these different devices because it's going for about 150 dollars with the most up-to-date app and it, it is wonderful to engage in meditation and really take your meditative levels to a new height and you can use this along with Muse Monitor to um, uh, track your individual brain waves and see how they uh, react to meditation. And of course, engage in uh, the Muse app, the, the neurofeedback app that comes along with this. Uh, again, if you are having trouble with concentration or anxiety, um, you know, you can try the brain tap 
device for an external influence, but if you're looking for the ability to internally influence your uh, body and mind to reduce anxiety and improve concentration, neurofeedback is an excellent route. And uh, you can even get a neurofeedback practitioner to work for with you um, through a program called MindLift that I've covered on this channel quite a bit. Um, they'll send you an extra electrode that costs around $50 and uh, you can have a monthly neurofeedback program using MindLift. I just went through um, with a company called NeuroCore that is really good um, based out of um, Michigan and had a great time with them training my brain. Um, if you are having a lot of mental health difficulties but you don't want to turn to medication um, and you've done talk therapy and that type of thing, uh, neurofeedback can be really beneficial as well. Uh, if you go to Neuro, NeuroCore, what they'll do is get a quantitative EEG on you and actually have you engage in Z-score training. This is using a database of um, EEG recordings from a normative sample, meaning that people that did not have mental health disorders and then training you back to normal in order to help with anxiety, depression, or concentration difficulties. And if you're looking more for performance enhancement, they can go with amplitude training, meaning they'll target specific brainwaves and have you train yourself to increase the amplitude of certain brainwave frequencies like SMR, which is really great for concentration, which can enhance your meditative experience even more and that's what I'm doing with my clients through Tech for Psych. So the Muse won a great value um, and then engaging with mind lift with an external electrode if you want to take it to the next level. Here we have the uh, Muse 2 which is actually uh, also an excellent device. What's cool about the Muse 2 is that it has a pulse oximeter in it that uh, will help you um, engage in changing your pulse rate and also tracking things like breathing and has even more options in the suite of using the Muse headband app. And this goes for about $250 right now, also of great value. If you want to truly engage in heart rate variability when it comes to meditation, take a look at heart math. I'm going to be doing a review video on this one pretty soon here. Um, this goes for about $120 and uh, gets you really great readings for heart rate variability. You might consider engaging in EEG uh, neurofeedback practice with the Muse 1 with combining the HeartMath HRV for a really good combinated, uh, combination of meditative value there. Really a lot to explore there. And uh, finally, also on the market, more brain computer interface devices. So this is more of healthcare oriented for exercise, reducing anxiety, improving sleep, enhancing meditative practice. But if you really want to get into um, more program, uh, software programming, uh, take a look at the Emotive uh, products as well. Emotive Epoch going for about $800. Emotive Insight going for about $300. They also have the Emotive MN8, which is more focus based for the work environment. Um, their uh, EEG access data program is a little expensive, but the software development kit suite is still operational unlike Interaxon with the Muse. So you can take a look at Emotive if you're really excited about brain computer interface and programming. And pretty soon here I'll have a truly incredible device from my friend Alex Castillo called Neurosity, which is going to be the next level of brain computer interface uh, neurohacking technology. So these are available in 2020 right now. I hope that helped you sort of narrow your idea about you know what area that you want to tackle in your neurohacking and which device may be most appropriate for that for you and uh, also discussing price points. Um, you know, at the lower end, you've got the Muse 1 and HeartMath, really great investments for lower price points. At the higher end, you have things like Brain Computer Interface with Epoch and uh, truly um, medical type treatment through devices like BrainTap. So they're there to, for you to uh, investigate and I'll have more review videos on different devices and comparing them in even more detail here in the coming weeks. So hope you enjoyed, hope this was helpful. Leave comments below and ask me questions about these different ones and I'd be happy to answer anything that I can. This is Dr. Cody Rawl with Tech for Psych. Talk to you again next time very soon.